Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn to Speak with Mahesh. In today's video, we'll see what is vulnerability scanning uh, feature which is available in uh, container registry and in the artifact registry. What is this all about? And I guess most of us will be knowing what happened with the log4j, uh, the vulnerability stuff, which is uh, one of the, I would say, recently discussed vulnerability. So how basically Google supports when there is a container image, how it can help you basically scan if there's any vulnerability in it. So we'll see that concept in this video. Uh, before we start that, a quick shout out. I'm starting my batch eight, uh, starting from 15th of January. If you're interested, please drop me a mail for more details. So going back to the demonstration, now instead of me giving uh, my own definition of uh, vulnerability scanning, uh, the official uh, definition of vulnerability scanning, which you can see it in container registry and also in artifact registry. So vulnerability scanning automatically scans images when they are pushed to artifact registry for known vulnerability and exposure. As new vulnerabilities are discovered, it will it's check if the if they affect the images uh, that are in container registry or artifact registry. So it is provided using the concept uh, using an API called as Container Scanning API. Currently, this is limited only to stuffs. If the base image is Alpine, CentOS, Debian, Red Hat, Ubuntu. Now, if it is something else, if you are using some other uh, operating system as a base image, it may not be able to scan. For example, if it's a Windows-based nano server kind of uh, base images used, vulnerability scanning may not apply to that. So just keep that in mind. Now, I don't have any images currently. It's an empty one. Now, what I will do is I'll use my uh, cloud shell. So I have a Docker file. Uh, it's basically a Node.js application, a simple hello world kind of an application. And this is the uh, Docker file uh, content. So I'm using uh, the latest version of Node.js. Now, if I just go into Node.js, the latest version as of today, if you see 17.3. Uh, now, if I go to Docker Hub, basically, uh, Node.js people have already built an official image. Uh, if I see there, Node.js Bullseye is the latest version of Debian operating system, Debian operating system 11 version, if I'm not wrong, that is a version. So I'm using all the latest stuff. Okay, so even if I use the latest option, what's going to happen? I wanted to show you. So now I'm going to use cloud build to quickly do a Docker build and Docker push uh, in one command. So builds submit minus T uh, GCR dot IO slash my project ID because I'm in my Google Cloud storage uh, cloud shells environment. I get an environment variable called as dev shell, dev shell underscore project ID. Now I'm going to call this as uh, bulls i version 1.0. Versioning is very, uh, the tag is very important which you are going to give. So let me hit enter. So once this is built, we should be able to see the scan. At the moment a new image is uh, pushed, uh, as per the information, you will see basically it's going to do the scanning. So let's wait for this image to be pushed to our uh, container registry. <coughs> so let's wait for that. And I'm not pausing the video, just wanted to show the complete stuff here uh, without any pausing. And you see it takes a good amount of time. Uh, I'll also tell you what is the mistake which is done in this first option. So pushed almost there, uh, yes. So clear the screen. Now refresh this page. You should see bullseye uh, image is there. Now if I go here, you should see it scanned quickly and it is saying, I'll just collapse this. It's saying there are 259 vulnerabilities which has been detected. Now, if I click on this, uh, most of the organizations, they would like to focus on the critical stuff. So let's focus on the same thing in this case also. Critical is what you see. Now, if I look into this, 
details all the information is available in this website folks uh, so you can look into this website you will be able to see the stuff now this is something related to uh, Debian 11 version OS critical now if I look into this vulnerability de details I'm not from the security background but looking at it it says it is basically impacted in these options stretch which is Debian uh, 10 version uh, sorry Debian uh, 9 version Buster which is Debian 10 version and Bullseye which is Debian 11 version so almost in all the Debian version this vulnerability is there which they have not fixed basically is what it indicates now by doing this we understood uh, there is a good amount of vulnerability and another important point which I wanted to highlight is look at this virtual size 300 and 50 MB which is little higher I would say now how can I basically reduce this now whenever you build at least with node.js images you will see something like a slim version now I can use bullseye slim version also let me show you what happens when I use bullseye slim version so one the size is going to reduce the second we will also see the vulnerabilities are also going to reduce so I just put slim now I just put hyphen and this is going to be pushing the image much faster because the amount of the size is very going to be very less so the image should be also pushed to GCR much faster uh, is what I would say so let's wait for this <coughs> almost done uh, I would say so that one took little longer time I would say I could have put time in front of this command just to show that it was little faster so I forgot it uh, so let's wait for this to be uh, pushed good now bullseye slim from uh, 259 vulnerabilities which we saw and the size was 350 now we have come down with a slim version to 36 vulnerability and the size also has reduced which is really a good one so and if I now look into the vulnerability it is not zero but there are 36 vulnerability the most important thing uh, as an organization is critical vulnerabilities are not there but there is one high and there is one uh, medium now if I look into this high look into this details again this is available in the same stuff now what I would do is usually uh, in the implementation which I have done whenever it is node.js related stuff uh, instead of using basically bullseye any Debian version of it I would prefer to use Alpine the most lightweight uh, Linux operating system which you can do uh, which which you can use and which could be really helpful for containerization so I'm going to use the latest version of uh, Alpine which is 3.5 is 3.15 so basically let me go and change so So I already have that entry so I'm just going to uncomment it I'm just going to call it as Alpine and this is going to be much faster uh, because Alpine uh, base image is going to be around one uh, like something like very less around 130 MB is what you will see as the Alpine's image itself so this is going to be much much uh, faster to build and the virtual size should be much lesser done folks now if I go refresh it done I look into my Alpine awesome we were able to have zero vulnerability with basically using Alpine image and the virtual size also was reduced to a greater extent now I'm not saying that don't use uh, bullseye but at least in this use case 
alpine image turned out to be the most vulnerable free is what I would say and since we use the latest version we were able to see almost zero vulnerability and this is what an ideal scenario looks like so uh, that's something which I wanted to share basically about what is vulnerability scanning all about so that's the video which I wanted to share. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you have any comments and feedback, put it in the comment section. Happy to respond to that. Thank you. Bye.